Removing the myshopify.com in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can super do this really, really fast. Welcome to Express. My name is Steven, and I'm going to be showing you how we can delete the myshopify.com. As you can see, I'm already here into my Shopify, and if you take a look into my upper side, I have my account that says Matios that myshopify.com. The actual problem with this is that I want to see this as without the myshopify.com. So what I want to do now is to go, first of all, is to go into my Shopify. Let's go into our actual dashboard. And here you want to locate this down here section that says settings. So here, what you want to do before you want to do this step, you want to just go into the plan section and you make sure that you have a basic plan that allows you to change your custom URL. Otherwise, this just won't work. Now, after that, what I want to do is to just scroll up it down and locate the domain section that appears in here. I'm going to click that, and then as you can see, you have a new domain. So what I want to do is to change to a new uh, domain, but I don't want to use the myshopify.com domain. So let's go for buy a new domain or connect an existing domain. If you want to look out for the domain, it's going to be really, really cheap for you. I can totally suggest you to use Namecheap. Now here into Namecheap, what you want to do is to look out for the name of your actual store. In my case, it's going to be Mazios. I'm going to go for search. I have actually a lot, really, really a lot of custom URLs that are like really, really low prices. For example, almost $2 for just one year. So after you make the purchase, what you want to do now is just to link to your actual URL, custom URL from the name cheaped into your actual Mazio's account and here's going to be appearing my new account and I'm going to hit into next. After that, you might see that it's going to be really, really easy to connect this domain here into your actual myshopify.com and this will no longer appear in here. So this is how guys we can do this in a very easy and easy way. Just in case you have any question, it's the name chief. Name chief has their own, their own custom instructions, but just in case you have any question, you can leave it down below in the comment section and we're going to be helping you step by step so you can see how we can link our name chief into Shopify. Remember that you need to have an active plan in order to make this work. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you next time.